this is dietitian preeti gupta today i am going to talk about main organ of our body that is heart as we all know when heart pumps the uh, blood circulates in our body and it is a very essential organ of our body because otherwise if it doesn't beat then we are not able to breathe also so it is continuously beating and that's why we have got our life so we have to take a lot of care of it for making it healthy so today i'm going to talk about the age that, that we should be careful about our heart and then what are the steps in the diet also we can take and what are the other things we should do for our heart healthy now first thing is the age so when we talk about the young age the young age like from uh, uh, your infant age to 30 years the heart is very young so it uh, is able to uh, deal with the pressure of uh, outside world also and even you can you are doing lot of exercises at that time and uh, with the age also it remains young so you can eat anything you can do anything but it will be okay but after age of 30 because the thing is that we are going into a sedentary lifestyle so the uh, when uh, it is being shifted our lifestyle is being shifted because the people are going to office they are remain sitting job are increasing and they don't do lot of exercises so what happens is the that heart uh, needs lot of refreshing also so what we have to do is we have to see two things in this so when uh, the sedentary lifestyle they don't eat the people forget to eat they skip the meals that is very dangerous for the heart patient or the person who is taking care of heart because that gives the load on the heart also and second important thing is when people eat eat the same things which they were eating before age of 30 then also there's a problem lot of problems that comes because of this so uh, we should do one two things that we should not skip our meals and eat a healthy balanced diet and that is very important so uh, balanced diet mein what should be included like in your meal pattern what i am going to talk about is the diet so diet mein jab when you are taking in the lunch and dinner so what you should have 20% of carbohydrate then 20% of protein 15% of your liquid diet should be there and 5% fat but maximum should be of 40% is the raw diet that means fruits and vegetables should be more like salad should be more so for example i am going to give you just a simple example that when you are including it so you can have like one roti like your multigrain roti you can have just little ghee on it and you can have curd also then vegetable and salad salad should be full plate and one katori dal or paneer or soya any one protein can be there in your diet so this should be your meal pattern so then it will be okay for you now comes the uh second main important thing for the heart patients or the bp patients or those who are at high risk of the heart diseases they can do one thing they can add the crushed garlic in their rotis or they can have a ginger in their salad so they can have uh, uh, ginger uh, dipped in their lemon and they can have it that also they can squeeze the ginger juice on their salad and they can have at that time also so these two are acting as a anticoagulant in their diet so that will help their uh, blood not to be clotting and second important thing that they should include in our diet in their diet is the uh, blood thinner so what blood thinner they can have the natural ones are your beetroot hibiscus tea then you can have onions and tomato and these salads again is very best source and hibiscus tea is a very good source you can include that tea in your daily once uh, in your lifestyle now comes we all know that in winter what happens is a cardiac arrest is very common so it is uh, because uh, our uh, blood circulates blood becomes thick and circulation is really less that happens why because when we do less exercise and less water intake is there and the diet is remain same or we do over diet because the thing is that in winters lot of things come like till we eat in winters gur we eat in winters then dry fruits also seeds also nuts also so these things and dates these are being added so no need to cut off these things but you have to just be careful that two things you have to do again first thing exercise should not be left behind so you should do a proper exercise routine that means at least you have should have four days a week any cardiac exercises cardio exercises like you can have jogging you can have skipping you can have dancing also 
or you can have a little bit of brisk walk also if you are not able to do all the cardiac exercises you can do a brisk walk or if you are not able to do the walk also then you do pranayam like your alom vilom is very good then uh, your kapal bharti is good the main thing is that heart needs to pump faster that's why it will be able to uh, cope up with the stress and the pressure which will be there on it after uh, any time of the मतलब ईयर और एनी थिंग सो यू कैन एबल टू डू दैट थिंग सो दिस इज फर्स्ट थिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेकेंड यू डोंट हैव टू रिड्यूस योर वाटर इन टेक सो वाटर वॉम वाटर यू कैन टेक एट ग्लासेस शुड बी मिनिमम दैट यू शुड हैव इन एट लीस्ट विंटर्स ऑल्सो बिकॉज दैट्स ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन द सर्कुलेशन ऑफ योर ब्लड बिकॉज वी शुड ऑल नो दैट ओनली फोर्टी परसेंट डैट हैज़ अ रोल इन दी हार्ट कंडीशन एंड सिक्सटी परसेंट इज द एक्सरसाइज दैट नीड टू बी डन फॉर दी हार्ट थिंग्स now one more important tip that i want to give you is the morning drink for the uh, keeping the heart healthy that you can include is you can have one day you can have uh, beetroot plus ginger juice in the morning and the other day you can have a pineapple small pineapple juice with the ginger and you can alternate these things like one day alkaline and another uh, second day is your citric juice that will again help your uh, blood to be thin so thank you very much and stay happy stay uh, healthy